That's pretty good for sitting in a tree. I mean, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Hi, YouTube, it's so good to see you again. So today, I was supposed to take you to the amazing Majestic Reptile House. However, my good friend and I showed up and it was closed because of Columbus Day. Columbus Day. Okay, fine. I'll show you my own reptiles. I hope I can edit in a way that is enjoyable and majestic, just like the zoo would be. And I will see. So first I'm gonna start with snugs. As you can see, there are leaves on the ground. It's actually October, but it is 80 degrees out today, people. I kid you not, I am in shorts and a tank top. It is, it is unbelievable. But I don't know if you can tell, but Snugs has definitely put on some major size. He is now five foot long and absolutely just it's amazing how much he's grown to me, honestly, but uh, I just love to see him stretched out out here. We don't use fertilizers. We don't use any pesticides. I mean, come on, people. Look at it. Does it look like... All right, just, just enjoy the reptiles. my beautiful tagu. I was filming my pets outside and something ended up happening that day and I didn't get any other pets outside. However, if you even pay attention to my videos, you know that this boy hates going outside. He freaks out. So that probably won't even be a good idea anyways. However, I do have a nice rat fawn. So um, after he soaks here, you're going to get to enjoy him feeding them on a nice rat. So um, I apologize for the disorganization, but they are my animals and all of them are beautiful. And I think it's cool no matter what they do. So, um, ho, ho, man, ho, man, not yet. The rat isn't done yet. So Tilly just left his soak. As you can see, that dish is his beloved dollar store love dish because I love him so much. Here he comes to eat. Um, sometimes he can be a little graphic, so um, I can understand you might want to skip ahead from this video. Okay, ho! What in the world? Okay. <laughs> okay, dude. Oh my gosh. Yep, yep, he's a smart one. Okay, yep. See, I laid out the paper nicely to collect the mess, but as you can see, um, it is what it is. He never does this. Tillers. I had to remove the paper. He was trying to eat the paper. Eat your rat, man.
you see that mess Tilly just made? Keep in mind, if you want to get a tegu, the whole prey is the best option. However, if I inspire one person out there to get a tegu, I want them to keep in mind, or any reptile, that hygiene is very important. You can make water bleach solutions and um, use Lysol wipes if you have them out and about in your home because you don't want to, you know, track anything. I also keep my lizard clean. I wipe him off. You know, I spray him down often. So just keep that in mind, people. I mean, the, you know, that that's going to need some disinfectant. That was, a, that was a rat in the house. So just, just keep that in mind. What are you going to do next? He looks very unsure of this camera right now. <laughs> He's going to go bask. I bet you any big money. He's going to go right up in there. And that's where he's currently He's currently got a roam of the room. Because why not, right? Why not have a big old tegu roam your room? The reptile room. So that's where he will probably spend a good majority the rest of this rainy day basking, taking a little walk, and that's about it. That's all he does. So, uh, he's just gorgeous. So last week, Snugs took a pretty good strike at me when I put him in my feeding video. I want to redeem myself right quick because he did not strike at me. I think that was on my part with my aim. So here I am. I'm going to try to redeem myself. Pray to God I don't get bit. And um, here we go. Let's feed Snuggy Boy. He's all coiled up. He's ready to go. I'm just going to... Oh, I dumped water. I'm just going to get this rat chicken out. It's a little bit wet. He's ready to go. If I get it right in front of him, he's going to get it. He's going to get the rat today. Please get the rat today. Just the rat. He's got it. He's got the rat. Oh, he's got the rat. He's got it. I knew it. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's so exciting. If you wouldn't enjoy that, what kind of thriller are you? I don't know. I hate roller coasters, so this is my good alternative. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's all I have for you this week. So you may be wondering, why is Snugs, my boa who just ate, on paper towel? Well, to be honest, believe it or not, I have eight reptiles out of all the animals you can have in the world. But I'm really a clean freak. And the Cypress Eco Earth mixture I had for his substrate just wasn't working out for me. It was getting really stingy. So he's been doing fine on paper towels because I do soak my animals like religiously. So he's been having no issue, but I'm going to build him a humid hide box today for him. This will be nice and tight. He'll curl up in there and that's that. It's just a cleanliness issue for me. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, make sure you subscribe because I made a huge purchase. It's a new rack system. So, if you want to follow me on that journey, try to, hopefully I can set it up by myself. <laughs> I'll try to film it, so, you know, <laughs> we'll see. And, um, that's about it. Thank you so much for subscribing, and I will see you next week.